Hey guys, welcome to another server miner tutorial and today it's on how to customize your server with a Feed the Beast mod pack. It's really easy to do and it's very easy to switch between different mods as well. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So we're currently on the SM Picnic control panel and the first thing we want to do is obviously change from Spigot to Feed the Beast. So go ahead and hit change, that will take us to the Minecraft installer where there's tons of stuff we can choose from but we want to scroll down and find Feed the Beast, here it is. And then once we're here, we can choose a mod pack. So I'm going to just choose one at random, but there is a massive list, loads of different ones you can choose from. And I'm gonna go with the Academy 1.16. So make sure you remember the version. So this is 1.0.1 and we're going to click install. Now this might take a few minutes to install all of the files. So while that's happening, we can go ahead and download the Feed the Beast launcher. So if we come to the link in the description, this will allow us to download the Feed the Beast launcher. So I'm just going to download it for Windows. And once it's downloaded, if you want to open it up and install it, this shouldn't take very long at all. So just, we want it in English, next. So just go through the installer and give it a few seconds to install. I'm gonna speed this up in the video. And then once it's done, we can jump back into it. So it has been successfully installed. So now we can go ahead and click launch. That is going to launch the FTB app for the first time. So what we want to do now is find our mod pack. So you can go ahead and go over to browse, or if you are lucky enough to have it on the featured page like we are, you can click it down here and you want to go ahead and install it. And this will take just a couple of minutes. It's installing all of the files for the mod pack, depending on the size of the mod pack, it might take longer or shorter. So we're going to go ahead and let that install. And there we go. So I'm gonna click view instance and make sure you hit version and check it's on the same version as your server. Otherwise you may have issues and won't be able to join. So 1.0.1, .1, that looks good. And now we can go ahead and hit play. So that is going to start the launcher process. So the Minecraft launcher is gonna come up and there is FTB Academy 1.16, which is what we want. Hit play and I understand. And then it's going to prepare it and give it a few seconds and it will load up. And here we are, we have a modded version of Minecraft. It's the FTB mod pack. So we are going to go into multiplayer, and obviously going to put our server address in, here it is. And then we can go ahead and join our Minecraft server, which is done installing. And here we go, we have joined our server. Now you can see it is a brand new world. It is the Academy mod. So everything is completely different to normal vanilla Minecraft, which is what I'm used to. Um, so this is pretty crazy, all the different stuff and different items you find in the mod. But there are tons and tons of mods to choose from. You don't obviously have to go with this one. But this is what it is like and how easy it is to just install a mod via the Feed the Beast launcher and then get straight into it. Just takes a couple of minutes and then you're done. So if you need any further help, you can go ahead and look at the written tutorial on the Server Miner website or just leave a comment down below. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.